I don't really pay attention to like too many people to be honest. Like, unless it's niggas around me, I don't pay attention. Niggas around me and people that I feel is important. Everything else, I like. people, I don't know. Niggas buy swag every day, but it's some niggas that's original. So my dad, my dad passed away in 2012, rest in peace. But um, he passed away, but he loved candy or whatever. And I love candy. I, to be honest, I don't even really eat food, but he loved candy. And we both like cars. So I just put the car color scheme together. I'm from Chicago, kind of low key grew up in Atlanta, back and forth type shit. I moved to Atlanta like one. My dad went to prison at like three, went back. And then I got them. I was back and forth all the time. And then I stayed all uh, high school in Atlanta. It's a big difference, bro. Like, first off, the weather, the people. Chicago ass when it comes to people. Like, niggas just assholes. Everybody suck low key. But I stayed in the house in Chicago. Atlanta, it's hot. Hellos. I don't know. Atlanta low key lit. But it get boring after a minute. You can't stay there longer than like. It's a place to settle down, but not goddamn when I'm like 18 to 25. Not right now. Now I'm in LA kicking shit. I love weed. Like, I gotta have weed. That's why I'm not in Atlanta. I, I thought I was gonna try to go to college and do some bullshit, but my mom wanted me to go to the military and a whole bunch of other shit. But I, I, I was lost. I didn't know what the fuck I was gonna do. I started making music like a year and seven months ago, but I started taking music serious last summer, the end of last summer. Daily Achievers, they dropped, I mean, they, they put on their page, never changed, and I got them. I seen it, and it low-key got me lit. I thought it was cool or whatever. So then I started taking it serious. That shit got like 100,000 plays in like a month. So then I just started teeing up. I was really just working with myself, and people like, it was like one person around me, lavish sleep, that was it. But he don't rap no more. And that was like, that's like my nigga from back in Atlanta and shit. But that was it. I wasn't working with nobody. I was trying to work with niggas like Polari and shit like that. I was trying to hit up Doo Wop back then. Then they had like 127 followers on Twitter. He wasn't going. Hella people, but I was just working with myself. Bro, I was struggling. Nigga. Like I went to LA with one outfit, a backpack with nothing in it, and some headphones. And the headphones was like some. Bro, they were like some studio ass headphones, like some bullshit, bro. Like with the twirly wire type shit and the big, the big aux cord. But I just had them hoes just listening to music or whatever. But that was it. Then I went with Quincy, stayed with him. And then it was, we was just at his mom's crib going through bullshit, going through bullshit. Then I made a way. Shout out to Adam, bro. Adam, that nigga definitely helped me a lot. Like probably without him even knowing, like, he, he got my face card Gucci in LA. Like once he started posting me on his vlog and shit, niggas was like, okay, that's candy paint, that's candy paint, that's candy paint. And then niggas started really knowing who I was. That was like, that's not talking about me. Okay, let me clear this up. That's not talking about me being a fucking internet thug. That's y'all niggas. <laughs> I'm talking about like Twitter gangsters and internet gangsters, niggas trolling, talking shit, like stuff like that. Bro, it'd be niggas with 21 followers and following 900 people. Maybe having like 12 accounts. You block them on one, they go on another one, come back, troll you again. I don't let that shit sway me no more though. I used to get pissed on live. Like I used to get pissed, but I don't give a fuck no more. Niggas troll. I'm a troll too. Chief Keef, Lil B, I can say Riff Raff. Like, bro, that's all my phone was like, that's all that was in there. And Lil Wayne and like, oh wait and shit. But like when I really start understanding music, Cheap Key. His versatility was so fire because he was like, he still was on that hood shit, but he was versatile. He would do like little singing shit and stuff. I don't know. Finally Rich is the best album ever. Lil B was just him, bro. He was, bro, I don't know. It's just, I, I like Lil B as a person really more than, I, I like his music too, but I like him as a person more. I think he's too genuine. He's a, really a humble ass nigga.